Here is where we have a lowly Cherwan drink machine in its natural habitat. Alone. Waiting for its next victim to come by. What do we have here? Oh, that's a Casey. <laughs> Should we approach it? Should we dare to go within its presence? Punch its buttons? Alas, this is my conundrum. It's Wednesday, girls. Okay, so, yeah, double intro, awesome, double intros are always good. Yeah, so I gotta go to work, and work schedule turned out crazy this week, and then it was my mom's birthday, and blah, 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 here I am. So, decided to do a thrifting recap of what I've got this week, because that's what I do with my free time, I go thrifting. So, first off is this beaded bag. It's got ruffles. Oh, it's not very deep, but it's so cute for spring. I think I'm gonna use it for Easter. Okay, Little Princess. I've never read it, but I love the movie that came out in the '90s. A vintage photo album, which, as it so happens, is from the '70s, and. Instagram on your iPhone, uh, the pictures are three and a half by five, so this is perfect for when I get those printed out when I, in fact, get an iPhone, which is uh, coming up soon. Let's see, I got this oh, vintage skirt. Look at it, it's swishy, 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 and it's handmade. It has a metal zipper, it's perfect in every way. Except for the fact that it doesn't fit me. So, uh, maybe Jen will get a package in the mail because, uh, she seems a bit tinier this way. Yes. So, um, well, this isn't thrifting, but this was Ollie shopping instead of discount shopping. Yarn! My favorite find? Boots. Look at this. Leather! Vintage, my size, and they're only three dollars at Goodwill. What? Oh, this is for Jen. Well, I don't know if I want to show you now, but okay, okay, I'll show you and then I'll send it to you because because I got so excited about it, I like I like squealed when I found it. But it's an entire pattern book of retro knitting patterns, and it says. Cool vintage patterns for men, women, and children from the 1900s through the 70s. I mean, I mean, look at all these. I found it and I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know anybody that knits except for Jen and Abby. Abby knits, right? You knit, but... Okay, so you can share it. But, uh, I can't use it because I crochet. So, I bought this for you guys. Eee! Um, yeah, so... Abby, I'm glad you had fun at your youth retreat. I miss stuff like that, but, uh, 23, almost 24, and I am not 
close with anybody I used to be with at my old church, and I have no idea what their youth group does anymore, which is sad. Me and Casey are kind of in the process of finding a church. Jen, I want to go to Ikea so bad. It looks like you had so much fun. And when you saw that wall and said it reminded you of me, I thought it was so sweet because I find stuff all the time that reminds me of you guys. But uh, to get sentimental, I just wanted to say that I have loved our project so far. And it feels kind of like we're just getting started, but at the same time, we're doing it for a long time. And, you know, I look forward to our videos every week because you guys make me smile and make me laugh. And sometimes I'm having a really, really hard week with work and life and housework and family and relationships and money and finances and bills and but every week I look forward to our videos because I know that I'm going to have fun and I'm going to laugh and I'm going to just relax and enjoy and learn. So, yeah. Everybody tear up now. Anyways, uh, I want to know more about life in Minnesota because I'm from the South. Like, I'm from the South and I've lived in the South my whole life. And I have no idea what life is like up there for you guys. I know, like, regional things are probably really, really different. So if you can think of any kind of cute snippets of information or just how things might be different or just how things are normal, if that makes sense for you guys, I want to – I'm going to start incorporating things into my videos, too, about living in North Carolina and living in the South because I'm sure you guys have ideas about the South, but they're probably all wrong. <laughs> because everything is so stereotyped and it's not true. Some stereotypes are true, some are not. So, I will see you guys next week because I've got to fly off to work.